Hey guys, so recently I've been diving in Cavalry, which is a new animation program, and my latest works, they, they're more different than what you can find in tutorials currently, so I think, well, maybe I should make some, and someone told me, yeah, maybe you should make it, and here I am. Uh, this is my first tutorial, so I'll be making lots of mistakes in pronunciation, and yeah, if recording is gonna be terrible, I think editing is gonna be even worse, but I'll try to make this in one go. Uh, this is the animation I'm gonna make today. It looks kind of like atoms or DNA, more like atoms I think, because DNA doesn't have the same color twice. It's relatively simple if you follow some tutorials that are already on the from cavalry so if you've seen those this won't be much more complicated so okay let's make a new file and ctrl k to open the properties for the composition and first thing is making a ellipse and i'm gonna make it 50 this is just so we can have the exact same animation as I did, but it doesn't matter, just go with the numbers that you want. Let's add the duplicator, clicking here with Alt. And we're gonna make this just linear and horizontal with only two of them. I'll be animating some of some things already. So let's go with this one. And I'm gonna be animating animating the size as well. It pops up and then it splits. Well I'm gonna parent to the duplicator so we can have the scene more organized. I'll be using a connect shape. Connect shape at first is a little bit mm, weird to understand, but for now we're gonna be using just a path. But for the source and target object, and we're gonna be connecting the duplicator itself to the input shape. Well, now this is a mess, so I'm gonna be lowering this to 1, and this can be lower as well. Yeah, no, 2 is two is the number. And right now it's a little bit off, the position is off, so we're gonna adjust it. And we're gonna place it below, so it doesn't overlap the, the circles. We're gonna use some palettes, you can use any of them, I'm gonna use this one. Just use any one you want. No, sorry, this is gonna go to the ellipse fill color. We're gonna be instancing this shape. We have to group them first, and we're gonna duplicate the group itself with a random distribution. Something like this and let's lower this to 30. And right now you see a lot of shapes are overlapping themselves. So there's something here, here called relax that we can use. Just crank it out really high and yeah we're good to go okay so we're gonna be changing the animation for each of them and there's a parameter uh, here which is the shape time offset if i move this you will see that all of them are gonna be moving at the same time but i can change that with a behavior called stager
okay that's a little more random and this goes to the shape scale not to confuse it with size or the scale for the duplicator this is the shape scale which is used to change each item in the little scale so we're gonna go with random uh, let's say something like 0 0.6 to 1.2 we'll be going with position as well and this time I'm gonna use a noise instead of the random behavior so something like minus 20 to 20 can be nice there you go and next one is the rotation which is gonna be quite interesting but instead I'm gonna be using random and I believe random it's using the indices of each shape so just like size is gonna affect each shape more and here in maximum I'm gonna add a number range and to the number range this is gonna be an intermediate object to connect the noise there so um, noise goes from minus 20 to 20 and we have to feed those two values here uh, you could connect them but I'm gonna just write them because this is not gonna be a very complicated scene and remap it to minus 180 to 180 positive well if you want it to disappear just like it appears you can change these other two values as well uh, yeah because we've used an unstager behavior this is gonna be a bit a little bit longer so let's change the composition once again we have to change the view layers which are object layers and if we change the size of them you can see the other shape the other layers which are the this ones that have a pattern a different pattern they will grow as well with them so yeah that's it thanks for watching and see you next time